Be careful out there. This is the third quest in the chain to obtain the singing sunflower pet. Uh, ghouls hate my grains. Um, right off the bat, you will have the uh, stone column thing that will slow down zombies. Uh, what they'll do is they'll stop at it and attack it for a little while, giving you some time to build up some attack or attack them while they're going at it. Uh, this is the first in the chain where zombies will come down all five rows. As always, I start off with three sunflowers in the back before worrying about anything. Get the sun power flowing. Throw down one of those stones to slow down the fast moving zombie. Uh, grab some more sunflowers in the back row. While he's struggling with that, I'm gathering some power, and I create a spitter to kill him. <coughs> more sunflowers equals more sun power equals more building. Always leaving the back two columns, the first two grid, open for sunflowers. We want to fill that. This one will be one of the first ones yeah. where we probably need it. Spinner, see if we take care of that. Cool. Hold it well. Put down another one just to help out. You'll notice that I will only put defense in the rows that zombies are coming down at the time. I don't worry about building up rows that nothing's coming down, because you can do that. It's better to have the sunflowers in the background. Get more power. And zombie coming down the bottom row. Throw it on a spitter. Throw it on a couple of freeze plants. To slow them down. And... Some more sunflowers out there. This is my standard technique. This this setup uh, served me well. I have completed this chain three times on three, three different characters. Uh, third time being the quickest. Using the same technique. Every once in a while, I'll throw it on a rock to slow down. Gain some more time to build up some power to put down defenses. Some power is really coming down now. Uh, one sunflower away from having a full set in the back. big wave of this quest, and as you can see I have to fill up that row that was left in the week. So much sun power come on. Throwing down a rock to slow down just to help out the spinners. And another huge wave coming. Uh, a little 
present on the field. It is uh, that viney arm thing. What it'll do is it'll kind of work like the stone tablets where the zombies will stop and try and kill it before they run by it, but it'll also pick up a zombie and essentially swing him around until he dies. The only problem with that is if he's being held up by the vine, you can see in the bottom row, my spitters and freeze planes can't hit him, so it's um, kind of a slow death. And since I have so many, so much the sun power coming in, I start to throw down some extra spitters just to speed it up. Vines that I just uh, obtained in this quest just to show you what they do. Rocks every now and then, slow them down, give the spitters some time to just blast. As you can see, the guy is being held up by the vine and cannot be attacked. That's what I'm talking about. It's not a bad defense, but kind of slows everything down. Now, these big guys are very strong. It takes a lot to kill them. Not the worst that you'll see, but right now in this class, they do some damage. Good to use... Uh, either vines or rocks to slow them up because they, once they get to your first line of plants, they may or may not just kill it and move on to the next. I have had them walk right through and pass up killing a plant, and uh, it's hard to stop them once they do that. And that's it.